Hey, gang. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. <sighs> it's freezing out there, isn't it? It is, but the hotel will be warm. Oh, fingers crossed. Like, it's always warm inside because there's so many people. Oh, yeah. And, like, in winter, I put a long sleeve on and I'm going to start sweating <coughs> profusely and I'm like, what is happening? Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm not putting my shoes on until I get there because otherwise I get foot ache. Oh, 100%. You're wearing heels tonight? I am. Oh. Leather, black heels. Oh, give us a look. Oh wow! Yeah. Thank you. You got yourself. You got yourself made. You're Thank great. You. But I have black flats in my bag. Oh, just in case. Black flat vans in case I'm like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> Which is like, I'm gonna be there for like an hour. Oh, this is close. What? Okay. Thanks, Uber. All right. Hang on. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I feel like I know you. Maybe. Did you ever go to church? Oh, no. <coughs> when I was significantly younger, maybe. I'm 28, so... Oh. Bit of, how old are you? 20. 20? 20. My face gets around a little bit, I think. Maybe, I don't I know. I haven't put an Uber with you before, but I was in, like, really slaggy pyjamas. You probably just oh. don't recognise me. I don't know. I mean, probably. potentially. Yeah. I've been doing this for about three months or so. So Yeah, and I catch you quite a bit. Yeah, so I'm people. meeting my partner there and his dad. His dad as well, okay. Yeah, his dad's bringing a friend. Okay. And we're going to have a really nice <laughs> night. That's the goal. I've been, I finished work at nine. Okay. So. Are you, are you a bartender as well? Or? No, I'm a nurse, actually. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. You know what? What? I think I might have actually picked you up before. Really? Yeah, I think, I, I, now that you say nurse, and look at your face. You look very familiar as well. I just thought I knew you. I was like, mm, maybe. maybe. What um, what hospital? Do you work at a hospital? No, I work at a dementia unit. Okay. Yeah. Have you got fun stories? Can we share stories? We can share stories. Mm. Hey guys. So the next part of this Uber ride uh, can be a little graphic in a sense. So I've cut out bits of it so it can be a little bit more tame, but it still can be something that a lot of people may not want to hear or may be disturbed by. Uh, so if that is the case, if it's not something that you want to hear that can be a little bit more graphic than usual, uh, skip ahead. should only be a short maybe 20, 30 seconds. And yeah, then you can get back to the video. I had a guy, I can't say names. But That's I had, fine. I had a uh, resident and he had a catheter inserted and he Ooh. ripped it out in, and he ripped the tip of his penis as well. And oh send him no! To the hospital because like when you insert it, there's a balloon at the end. Yeah. Of it, like once it's inserted, the balloon pumps up. Oh! And he like Ugh. ripped it out. Yeah, I know. It's nasty. Was he like on purpose? Nah. Well, yeah. Oh well, I no. mean, he has dementia, so he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, which is fair. He kind of. Oh no, <laughs> poor man. The idea was there. Yeah. So like, what do you what do you do? I mean, I just take care of them. I help them get changed. I feed them. Oh, so it's like having a baby. Pretty much. Almost. Especially like it's just hard when we're like I'm, like palliating people. Yeah. Which like gonna pass within the week. Oh, but I... other than that, my job's actually really fun. Okay. What I... have you got? Favorite patient or favorite resident? I should say. Oh my god. <coughs> he is sweet and he's caring and on my first day one of the schizophrenics yelled at me and oh no. he said who the bit do you think you're talking to she's new here oh and ever since sweet then because i because i like all of the nurses are a lot bigger than me like as in like tall I mean, there's a lot or... of males and okay. females male and female that's i normally don't hear that but okay yeah there's a lot of male and female care stuff and um I'm just, I don't know, they're tall, and I'm not, so but... Is there like fears of intimidation there? Um, well we do have aggressive residents and that's, and we have some residents that have issues where fe like I can't be alone with, like females just can't be alone with them because they're like touchy. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a, are you working a male, like male dementia ward? It's board? mixed. <coughs> okay. I went from an all female unit you know, where only female workers, female kitchen staff, everything to a mixed unit. That's probably a lot better. That was a like, real big shock. Having males and females? Yeah. Okay. And then what about with looking after people? It's always, it's always been mixed? 
Um, yeah, I mean, at first I was like weird, like sharing the males, just because I was all used to doing female care. Yeah. But it would. It, I would imagine it would feel a bit uncomfortable at first. I was just. I just didn't want to like, because I mean, like they feel like they've like lost their dignity having a like. 20 imagine that like being like 80 and having a tw having a 20 year old shower you like they're as old as your great grandchildren and they're showering you yeah like i can see how that would be like sad i mean are the the ones that you are assisting there are they are like are any of them like mentally there or are they all dementia patients we have like two or three that are mentally there like the my favorite resident he was always there like he's there he okay. knows what he's doing he doesn't actually have dementia or something else. I can't even remember what it's called, but pretty much he had a brain injury and a part of his brain died and so he forgets things. Okay. Like he doesn't forget faces or people, but like say um say you have to brush your teeth in the morning, it'll go over his head or he forgot how to drive. Just okay. like everyday things he forgets, but he doesn't forget people, he knows how to eat and stuff so That's alright. So like he's so he's probably one of the more, um, like, kind of reliable patients in a sense. That he can, he knows exactly who you are. He can still communicate, do what he needs. But he's there to be able to be a supporting friend in a sense. Yeah, I say like, oh, don't get too close. But I mean, if you don't get close to the resident and you don't know them, you can't treat them properly. Yeah, and it probably wouldn't feel as it probably wouldn't feel fair in a sense as well because you want to see them as another person, not as another number. Yeah, well, I mean, people just see them as a job, and that's yeah. just not what they are. 